Assalamu alaikum Shamail Ansari here welcome to the webinar of Shamail Ansari for TDAP what is this webinar this webinar is all about how do we proceed with the world of export let me introduce you to myself I have been in the world of fashion for 34 years, one of the pioneer designers of Pakistan. I have been chairman of the Fashion Pakistan Council and I am today on the board of governors of the fashion industry. Now that is Shamail Ansari for the Pakistani brand. Why am I here today on the webinar? I would like to expose my journey my experience and my business for all of you to learn it is not just enough to do a fashion designing to become a fashion designer in a country that is a lovely country of aesthetics but a small country aap apne aap ko power ke sath leke chale on your journey of fashion and business That is what Shamail Ansari did. In 2000, I took my business forward to the world of exports. Those who are attending this virtual workshop will get a certificate of attendance from TIDA. So fill in your details by clicking on the link below. Shamail brand is the only brand in Pakistan that has worked with one of the classic brands internationally and today is the only exporter and designer for the international markets so this is my chance to teach you what my journey and experience has been the world of export is not just about business the world of export is about your progress your passion and your talent not just staying in a small world but putting it out into the entire world to start with as a designer into your journey of export aap apne aap ko sirf shaadi jodon se nahi expose karenge sirf lawn se nahi expose karenge to keep yourself internationally open and a big business please look into the world of exports so shamail as a designer who actually graduated not in the fashion world but in the world of business my degree was from the university of california berkeley from finance and corporate law so i thought designing was something that i learned on my own self reading books studying internet traveling in countries looking at designers looking at places that inspire you as a designer it was not just limited it was internationally open and of course i had business language so i actually traveled to many countries i traveled to the united states to study various designers over there that are american in europe to study various european designers if you see the shamail brand it is not just about shaadi jodas and kurta shalwars it is about a lot of cosmopolitan fashion so whenever i started fashion in the industry and whenever i did shows it was not just about bridal wear it was about jackets it was about various kinds of wearabilities that are open to pakistan wearability and to international wearability so once i started doing that i said Why do not I take my business internationally if my inspiration and my learning is international? 2000 Shamail traveled to the United States. And I traveled to the United States. I approached 70 companies in New York, Manhattan that are textile oriented companies. Yes, I did have textile exposure because I was the first person to open lawn in pakistan with the crescent group of industries in the late 1980s so i had exposure with textile companies i had also designed for gulehmad in 
92. So, where beyond that? Get your experience, travel abroad, approach yourself, never be scared. I approached a lot of companies, knocking on doors for 70 companies. And eventually, I came on board with the first company that everybody knew in 2000 called the Donna Karen Home and Donna Karen Design. So my first export was a lovely design of leather shams din did with bagal hair. My first export shipped out on the day of 9-11. When would I ship the next part of it? And of course, Afghanistan was closed to Pakistan. How would I again manufacture what I manufactured out of Afghanistan? I thought of something. I took whatever was left over of bagal hair and of leather and I made a little booklet out of it. And I called it from Karakaram to Karen. And that was all about how vintage leather is made how the colors cannot look the same. Again, it could be a different product with the same ideology, but it was about exclusivity. If somebody bought brown that was exported before, today somebody is going to take black or something yellow. So I wrote individual stories on color ships. I sent those books to Donna Karen. I got a personal call from her and I went on to the project. So never be afraid. Always be positive that it is your ideology that can lead you forward. Whatever goes wrong, how do you correct it? Your own authenticity, that is what export will hold you on towards. So from, for Donna Karen, I then set up in Pakistan the House of Design for Donna Karen Home. I took the journey of traveling to China, to India, and if they needed manufacture out there, I was open to the manufacture out there. So the designs were done by Shamail in Pakistan, but the manufacture was done internationally. Beyond that, I also worked with the company, which is Eddie Bauer, the brand Eddie Bauer. If you are a designer, Please do not limit yourself that I only make bridal wear, I only make jackets. Open your life to the world of export, to the world of clothing. So I went into badges, I went into denims. And eventually I also opened my own agency to actually, which was called Cashman Private Limited from 2000 to 2008, to actually be an agent for companies like Target, to be an agent for companies like Walmart. And what experience did that give me? The experience was to meet people over there, to come and have their brands manufactured by industries in Pakistan. Textile mills in Faisalabad, textile mills in Multan, textile mills in Karachi. So that gave me a whole lot of experience. How do textile industries work? How do designers work? Is dono cheezo mein farak hai. Designers jo hote hain, wo khud baith ke choti designing karte hain. Wo khud baith ke jo unki industry kaam kar sakti hai, usme karte hain. Chahe wo haath ka kaam ho, chahe wo machines ka kaam ho. Lekin industrial industry jo hoti hai, Export industry जो होती है, वो कौन सा काम करती है? So आप denim में जाएं। मैं denim के साथ बहुत से export करती थी। मैंने जाके denim में लोगों को सिखाया कि उसको brush कैसे करते हैं। Denim को आप enzyme डालके उसका shade कैसे बदल सकते हैं? Denim में आप embroidery कैसे डाल सकते हैं? Pockets पे embroideries डालें, तो I would work with the denim industry. I would design for them certain aspects, small aspects of embroidery, but jo tech pack hume bahar se aata tha, usko mein design karti thi, usko mein quality control karti thi, 
and I would get huge manufacturers like maybe a thousand dozens per item. Export is always about dozens. Then I worked with knitwear, t-shirts. I worked with jackets on fleece. What was the design going to be? How do you learn? What is fleece fabric? Do designers in the industry know what fleece fabric is? No, I learned about it. So once I spent a lot of time learning about how industries work, they work on multi-header embroideries, machines like the Barudan, like the Tajima. They work very little on hand embroidery, hardly any in Pakistan. And they work a lot on manufacture of fabrics, whether it is digital printing, whether it is weaving, whether it is export dyeing, and whether it is how actually you do your printing, whether it is on rotary printing or on digital printing. Where does your journey take you from the local industry of, of manufacturing a Pakistani fashion brand or products that are made for Asian customers onto the international aspect? Aapne research ki, aapne study kiya, or aapne industries mein jaya aap. Go to export companies and see how they manufacture, how do they quality control. Those who are attending this virtual workshop will get a certificate of attendance from TDAP. So fill in your details by clicking on the link below. If you go onto the websites, or you go onto YouTubes and you study about how quality control aspects are managed by Walmart, by all big manufacturing companies, by Macy's, unke laws hote hain ki aap is tarikhe se export pe ja sakte hain. Quality control aap kaise kar sakte hain. Aap uski stitching kaise control kar sakte hain. Aur sabse badi important cheez hai ki aap wo sikhe ki ek laboratory mein hamesha export ka test hoga. Whether it's SGS, go to SGS. Speak to SGS. How do people in export learn about the quality of export? Ke bhai, aapka fabric talk na kare, aapka fabric phate na, kitni usme CGs hoti hain, jisko aap control kar sakte hain, wo kaise measure hoti hain, embroideries mein dhaga kahan se na phate, please go to SGS and they will teach you all about how to learn how laboratories actually gauge how things are done. So first a sample is made and the sample is first tested out in laboratories for quality of fabric, for quality of embroideries. Then usko aap manufacture bulk mein leke jayen. Bulk mein bhi 10% kapda liya jayega, outfits liye jayenge aur wo phir test honge so that there is a sink between what you have actually made as a sample and it is approved and whether randomly they are checked out for actually the quality of it. So go to laboratories, go to industries and see how international manufacture is done. TDAP is also a very important aspect for you to know about the Trade Development Authority of Pakistan. I am sure you can go and approach people over there and ask how do, does the world in export work out? Aap LC kaise kholte hain through a bank? Aap export mein logon ko kaise pehchante hain? What are the laws? How, what is an FOB in export? How do you export products? How do you ship products? How do you open LC? to actually manufacture the product. But the most important aspect is, how do you get in touch with people? What do you want to manufacture? TDAP will put you through to people. Contact them. Study the industry. Make a sync between aap kya produce karte ho aur aap bahar ki kis industry ko jo hai, approach kar sakte ho. 
द वर्ल्ड ऑफ एक्सपोर्ट्स आप अपने ब्रांड को किस तरीके से एक्सपोर्ट तक लेके जाएंगे आपको तो इसमें बहुत अटेंशन देनी है आपको इसमें बहुत परसवियरेंस देनी है और बहुत परफेक्शन देनी है ये तीन वर्ड्स बड़े नॉर्मल वर्ड्स हैं द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट वर्ड हेयर इज ऑथेंटिसिटी एंड ओरिजिनैलिटी जब आप अपनी ओरिजिनैलिटी पे आएंगे और कोई बाहर से इसको देख सकेगा तभी वो कहेगा इस इंसान को इस डिजाइनर को मैं चांस दूंगा या दूंगी सो so, एक डिजाइनर जो एक्सपोर्ट वर्ल्ड में जाना चाहता है एक्सपोर्ट वर्ल्ड के लिए डिजाइन करने के लिए वो डिजाइनर हमेशा अपने ब्रांड को ओरिजिनल रखेगा ओरिजिनैलिटी को एक्सप्रेस करना इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ओरिजिनैलिटी इन डिजाइन इज इंपॉर्टेंट अपने आप को मार्केट करें विथ योर आइडियोलॉजी इन शोज और इन योर शूट्स यू हैव टू डू इट इन अ डिफरेंट वे हियर इज येट अनदर वीडियो जो आप देखें और आप इसमें समझ सकेंगे कि शमाइल ने अपने ब्रांड को किस तरीके से एक्सपोज किया है डिफरेंट आइडियोलॉजीज ऑफ शोज हियर इज अनदर वन विच इज Symposium of Queens when you actually do shows and shoots in a different way you are actually exposing them on your social media and internationally marketing it tabhi koi buyer aap mein interested hoga to aap apni originality ko madde nazar rakhe apni shoots mein aur apne shows mein make it original so that people approach you to know that you have the talent to be different what is the world of export fashion to the world of export cosmopolitan products cosmopolitan products mein aap different kaise honge aap embroidery kijiye pakistan is a huge country for hand embroidery here are some images where shamail uses for her export products hand embroidery look how cosmopolitan it looks look how different it looks what are the other industries that you must expose yourself to and learn for export please go to the industries that print on fabric today's world is the world of digital printing so please go and see what is digital printing it is bulk printing the world of export is the world of bulk so this is how your production needs to be a fashion designer 
cannot just be in export into a small production. Look at the mass production that is done in digital printing. Learn about it. How does embroidery become reasonable for exporting? Yes, handwork is there always as a small element, as an addition on mass production. So, you turn yourself around to the world of industrial embroidery. Industrial embroidery is in bulk. Export is always in bulk. So do your Resham embroidery with the world of industrial embroidery. Here is how it looks. So work with your layering. You took the fabric, you had it printed. You had the industrial embroidery done. And here are little elements that you will see in the image that are actually hand worked. That is the originality of a product. A product that is manufactured in countries where hand embroideries, where ideologies retain the essence of ethnic, retain the essence of history, and you turn the history of your country into modernity and a cosmopolitan product. So, you have learned how to be progressive. You have learned to take the journey, not just with Asian style, but internationally. You have learned what to learn from TDAP in terms of the process of export, how to get in touch with people. You have learned how to approach industry for mass manufacture. And you are being different in making your product different internationally. Welcome to the world of exports. Welcome from fashion on to growing your product into the export world. The black jacket. What do we learn about the black jacket that we have seen in the shoot today? Black jacket is a cosmopolitan jacket. What is cosmopolitan jacket? A jacket that you can wear in Pakistan, a jacket that you can wear abroad, and it has many wearabilities on occasions, and how do you wear it different? If you look this jacket, और इसके डिटेल्स देखें तो आपको ये बात पता चलेगी कि ये एक एक्सपोर्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोडक्ट है और इसको आप देखें इसमें कई चीजें हैं जो एक्सपोर्ट ओरिएंटेड हैं इसमें एक जैकेट है इसमें बेल्ट है इसमें एम्ब्रॉयडर्ड नेकलेस है नॉट ज्वेलरी बट एन एम्ब्रॉयडर्ड नेकलेस इसमें ग्लव्स हैं इसमें पैंट है अगर हम open kar rahe hain for ourselves to the world of export aapka product export oriented hona chahiye iske details ko dekhe iske color ko dekhe iska color is not red iska color is not golden iska color is black black is a primary color export market mein jaane ke liye aapko primary colors uthane padte hain aur is mejo print hai that is an original shamail print where is this actually inspired from inspired from the house of versailles house of versailles is not in pakistan house of versailles is in france so anything that is french fashion is something that is internationally accepted therefore you will see that the paintings that are on the print are from the house of versailles it is heritage, international heritage. And the embroideries in gold, that is actually cultivated in Pakistan. However, it looks very, very cosmopolitan. Embroideries, as I mentioned, is a very important aspect that Pakistan can offer to the entire world. Agar aap dollars ko le aur dekhe, it is very reasonable to get export embroideries done in Pakistan something that I will speak about that needs to be developed in Pakistan. So, aap cosmopolitanly is object ko observe kare. Aap isko jacket ki tarha koi pahen sakta hai. Even with or without a pant, with a skirt, 
you can develop this entire idea into a short jacket. Gloves are made by Shamail brand also from original leather and embroidery. And so is the belt. So is the embroidered necklace. So it is not just one aspect of producing for exports. It is an aspect of producing necklaces that can sell separately, belts that can sell separately, gloves or the outfit that can sell separately. Second outfit designed by Shamail for exports. Once again, if you see the second outfit, you will see that the colors are very primary colors. Now what is this outfit? Aap isko observe kare. अगर आपने प्लेन जैकेट बनानी है तो वो चाइना से भी बन सकती है वो इंडिया से भी बन सकती है वो कहीं से बन सकती है लेकिन इस पे आप एम्ब्रॉयडरी ऑब्जर्व करें अगर इसको हम लो कॉस्ट पे एक्सपोर्ट करना चाहते हैं द बेस्ट प्लेस टू एम्ब्रॉयडर प्रोडक्ट्स विथ हैंडवर्क इज पाकिस्तान सो ये जो जैकेट है ये एक बहुत ही ओकेजनल वेयर पे होगा इंटरनेशनली और ये एक हाई वैल्यू हाई लेवल प्राइस है ऑब्जर्व इट दिस इज लाइक अ शनेल जैकेट दिस इज लाइक अ लुई विथॉन एक्सपेंसिव जैकेट दिस इज वेरी मच ऑल्सो लाइक एन एक्सपेंसिव गुची जैकेट सो दिस प्रोडक्ट value would be something like 4000 US dollars and it's huge profit that you can make in that if it is produced in Pakistan agar aap isko notice kare to look at the way it is structured it is structured with very various positionings of lines squares हर चीज जब आप एक्सपोर्ट पे बनाए इट कैन नॉट बी हियर एंड देयर इट हैज टू बी परफेक्टली मैन्युफैक्चर्ड देयर हैज टू बी क्वालिटी सर्वेलेंस ऑन योर प्रोडक्ट अगर आप हाथ का काम कर रहे हैं तो उसके बैक पे ये नहीं हो सकता कि देयर इज जस्ट अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ ग्लू ऑन इट इट हैज टू बी फंक्शन विद करेक्ट एम्ब्रॉयडरी इट हैज टू बी लेयर्ड इन साइड विद अ बैकिंग एंड इट हैज टू बी परफेक्टली ऑर्गेनाइज and perfectly positioned embroidery for export notice the pant in it also the reason why i am showing the pant in it is it's an embroidered pant which matches very well in primary colors with the jacket aap pant ko dekhe the pant has also primary print on it now do you want to go in to a jacket or do you want to go into a pant so when you do export products do not limit yourself to just the whole look do it price it in a way that a pant can be worn separately with any plain black shirt a plain black jacket a white shirt a silver shirt or the jacket on its own with a short skirt or pants So study your product in a way that there is variety that you can export and it is feasible and wearable with any other product. What do you see when you see the second jacket and the pant? Inspiration is a very important aspect for originality. How do you introduce yourself into the world of exports? Not by making just a plain jacket Yes it works very well if you can do it in lower price but if you want to offer Pakistan fashion world into exports then you must get inspired by some things this product of mine the second jacket is inspired by the Tudors watch it it's not just plain black yes plain black is primary but it has a very very delicate Tudor print on it and it has very geometric embroidery which was very much in the times of the tudors see the embroidery on the pants again the print is very inspired by the tudors and the embroidery too is inspired by the tudors why the tudors because the tudors is international history it is exposed international history 
when you talk about films that are on Tudors, when you see so much that the Tudors have been there for. Hi, I'm Adnan Pradesi. I'm a fashion designer and I've been in the textile trade for since the early 2000s. I've come from a family of textile and garments. We've been in the business since the early 1900s and we have been one of the biggest exporters of many different textile products from Pakistan. The most important thing that we have to understand is that you know, as a, even as an exporting country and when we export our manufacturing abilities that Pakistan has at the moment, we are actually generally you know, designing for their aesthetics. So one thing that we have to understand is that when we are going to cater to let's say a European market or if we are catering to uh, an American market, we have to understand that our aesthetics, our crafts need to be around their aesthetics. So that means you know Pakistan has an amazing labor in terms of embroidery and you know that is one of the crafts. But what we expect, what we need to really do is like really focus on creating embroideries and crafts which are going to be you know something that are relatable to their market. And you know if we we are you know very our embroidery crafts are really really you know, very exotic and everything. So we need to create a product which is going to be you know high end in terms of you know collaborating with bigger brands like Gucci and Armani and Versace and you know Balmain and all those brands but we need to actually sell them a product that is going to be workable for them rather than our aesthetics. So that means the way we have to go about this is where we create a product which has a very aesthetics, very much an aesthetics for the Western. See it's amazing that you know one of the countries like Bangladesh for instance you know they use their craft you know to that level where you know they are really really big on weaving so you know what they have done is like you know they have applied those aesthetics they have applied those expertise and you know they have been selling their fabrics created by them and also their craft which is a local craft but as per the aesthetics of the west you know you have to understand that it's extremely important that you know when we are catering to a certain market we're catering to a certain taste you know, rather than using our own aesthetics, we have to actually develop the aesthetics according to how the country that we are, you know, selling our product to and, you know, giving them an option as to, you know, this is what is available. So that's one of the things that, you know, Pakistan needs to focus on is like, you know, we have the craft, we have the people and, you know, if we can actually, you know, do something about this, I mean, you know, this could be one of the biggest markets for Pakistan and you know, one of the biggest, you know, export earners for us is to just sell our embroideries and you know something that could be done here and they can finish it there and we can actually bring in brands if we can actually manage to you know convince them that you know, this is what's available so that's one thing that you know we should really look at so well the commonality between the international and uh, pakistani sensibility you know there's certain things right now because the world has actually gone global so i mean you know yes i mean there is one thing that pakistan has done very well is that you know we are possibly the only nation whose national dress is really not a costume and we wear it on a daily basis. So what we have done is we have created shalwar kameez and the kurta as we say in such a way that actually now in today's time when if I look at my experience in the past five years that I've seen, we have actually been able to you know manage to you know wear something in Karachi today and we could wear the same thing in London tomorrow and you know it's been pretty much applicable but you know then it's a very small market but then yeah I mean that's one of those things that you know Pakistan has done very well and you know and especially this is something that we can actually even translate even in the future also you know we can translate into a very nice relaxed you know uh, resort wear collections of a resort and people who are going on to beaches you know our fabrics our cottons are beautiful you know we are one of the best and you know in terms of the kind of you know finely woven fabrics that we do for our local market so you know that there are some commonalities in terms of the kind of fabric preference and everything is there and you know we can actually not only for the west but for the middle east also you know our you know prints and our fabrics are really preferred and of course africa is one region where pakistan have been doing that as well so there are plenty of commonalities i mean cotton being the biggest factor and, and also one of the fabrics that you know pakistan does very well now is denim i mean you know we we have one of the biggest suppliers, one of the best denim manufacturing happening in the world, you know, is happening in Pakistan. A lot of these brands are related to it. And also that is one of those things, you know, basic five pocket denim jeans that is being sold, let's say in a Levi's store in America, is also being sold in Levi's stores in Pakistan. So, you know, this is one of those fabrics, you know, which are there. And obviously, I mean, the thing is, okay, there's plenty more that Pakistan has developed. So there are plenty of things which have become very international and, you know, Pakistan has been pretty much part of it. 
तो सबसे बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट चीज इसमें जो है एक आप देखेंगे यू के नॉट बी इंटरनेशनल ब्रांड यू नो यू आर रियली रियली बिग एट होम so which is one of those things that you know is one of those things that one needs to do but you know when obviously when you going to again as i said you know if you, we have to go into an international market then we have to change our product according to what the requirement is you know it's, that's you know what the market wants there what is there is set is what are there cuts because sizes are different you know the colors are different what the kind of people clothes that people wear so it's like a completely different product in a lot of cases that people may need to do and brands need to study that you know you know one of the biggest examples is like you know, khadi has moved to you know have they opened up international stores so their work their products are according to you know what they want in uk and you know what they want in middle east because there is definitely you know something that you know that needs to work on and we have to every market that we need to move into we have to have the local taste the local touch is extremely extremely important so these are you know few of the factors that one needs to cater into keep keep yourself into mind and you know if you look at zara for instance you know what zara is selling in spain maybe they are not selling it in the uae so you know these are like you know the factors that needs to be studied if pakistani brands need to go abroad and you know move into a different market so obviously they'll have to have maybe their the core aesthetics needs to remain the same their values need to remain the same but obviously their design and you know their product needs to be you know around what the market they are trying to sell If you're watching this virtual workshop, please click on the link below, fill in your details, and you will get a certificate of attendance from TDAP. Thank you. The way for Pakistani designers to actually, you know, learn to actually get out of a smaller quantity and you know get into mass market abroad would be like, you know, in a lot of cases we have to learn from how the Western brands have been manufacturing. That means, you know, they've created quality standards, they've created a certain parameters around about their brands, and what they have done is then they would, you know, have created systems which basically. they you know certify through different factories for exports and manufacturing in pakistan and in many different parts of the world the way for pakistani designers to cater to a bigger quantity is like you know is obviously you know we have to create the most first step the most fundamental important thing is that you know we have to create a product which is obviously can be produced in multiple numbers and in big numbers and then we have to also understand that you know we have to use the expertise of the manufacturers you know designers sometimes we as designers have sometimes a very smaller vision you know when we are creating a product but we have to also learn that you know manufacturer has the expertise they have their things so that's how we actually can learn from the west how brands have expanded you know into hundreds and thousands of stores so is because you know what they do is they they create quality standards they would create you know certain parameters around which their product needs to be made I mean they have their certain ethos you know that needs to be kept and this is exactly what they do so i mean this is one of the things that you know in the longer run that pakistan if we need to really you know export designer where this is one of those things we'll have to do right the designer does not have to have a manufacturing unit that is of such a huge scale to do it they could just simply go to people who are already in the business and do it so that's one of the ways of going about it whereas you know pakistan so far designers have actually been able to in pakistan be able to you know collaborate with textile mills for non at least so mean you know there is a certain standard and quality is set so we maybe we can take it further and go into garment making as well so i mean it's going to, it's a long shot but you know this is one of those things and this is one of the ways to go about learning from how we can expand you know our designers into you know making their products available to more and more people at a smaller at a lesser price point the young designers in pakistan or generally in the world you know until unless you don't have a unique selling point i mean you know it is very very important that you have to understand that while you know we are all taught the same thing at fashion schools but you have to really create a difference i mean in terms of you know a certain kind of aesthetics that you need to bring in unfortunately a lot of us in pakistan the you know a lot of new people you know start to design the same kind of product which is out there and then you know they lose into it you know because we you know this is very normal thing in pakistan to say ki yahi bikta hai ki this is what sells but you know the thing is we have to understand that you have to find your own market you know you have to find your own people you know people with your own sense of aesthetics and you know you have to start to cater to them you know this is one thing that a lot of designers 
do not understand that you know if you want to stand out you need to find your own niche and one of the ways is like you really need to work hard and see what is not there in the market and stay true to yourself you know you can make anything commercial eventually you know once you know keep on doing it you know you stick to it and it's a lot this you know when we get into brands if you want to become designers you have to also understand that you know you have to do this in the longer run so that means you have to be patient you have to have the right capital and right approach and we have to continue to do this time and again and you know when people will start to you know understand what you are selling and you know and if they resonate with you and they understand you know that your their taste match matches you know so they will come to you so this is very very important that you know one you have to create something which is not there and you know so that you can make a mark and secondly you have to be really really patient if you going to develop a market instead of you know in the end trying to sell something you know which is already there and maybe somebody can do it better from you so you know you have to look at your strengths you have to look at your weaknesses and you have to stay true to yourself if you want to make a mark as a young designer in terms of you know your presence in terms of your brand and you have to do you know create news around it and that could be in, in current era if you look at it you know you have plenty of very cheaper ways in through social media and you know things that you can really do it you know unlike in the past where you know we really had to spend a lot of money doing shoots and then you know, getting them printed and you know, it's a completely different market it's a lot more faster now it's just that you know now you really really need to be on your toes and create a product which will resonate to your kind of people and you don't have to cater to everybody and this is one of the very very important factors that one has to keep in mind you know export in general is like it's a very vast field when it comes to textiles also from logistics to paperwork to a lot of you know the whole business development thing and you know sometimes it's extremely important that as designers one has to understand that you know you don't have to do everything that means if we actually can put together a team of a textile mill and you know like minded designers who can actually work together that way any the thing is a lot of the things because again creative work is one thing that is also needed which is like the very very important aesthetics that one can provide to the textile mill and that merger could be like you know something that can actually enhance pakistan's exports and one of the also the important thing in the way i look at the trend now is like you know not only that you know it's all about business when we when pakistani exporters have to go abroad it's also about you know merging now the arts and this you know business of fashion put together i mean you know the business of art is one of those one thing that you know really our textile people or business people don't really focus on but that's where the future is that is something that you know sooner or later our exporters also have to realize that you, know, you will need it and you know that is the way forward for pakistan the kind of competition that is you know pakistan has been facing from countries like vietnam and bangladesh and and so on and so forth so pakistani if pakistan needs to stand out pakistan really need to up their game and they we have to really bring in the art also into the business If you're watching this virtual workshop, please click on the link below, fill in your details, and you will get a certificate of attendance from TDAP. Thank you. So, as I've said earlier, also, you know, Pakistan has, you know, sadly not really been able to capitalize on our embroidery. We are a very, very small percentage of, you know, embroidery, which especially the craft in terms of the handmade embroideries that we are talking about here. You know, Pakistan has amazing embroideries, but we have really not been able to make a significant difference. is because we have really never focused on it yes i mean machine embroidery is something that you know obviously happens a lot in our garments because you know a lot of orders come through them and you know for their garments and everything but if you really talk about the hand embroidery in the real craft that pakistan has and you know something that actually is that can you know enhance our product and enhance our selling price which is like the fob price you know and that is one thing that pakistan should really focus on so far you know we have a very very small percentage play to you know playing this at the moment and we very have very little contribution but if we can actually focus on it and with you know people with a clear vision about you know how we can do embroideries like that and you know people who can execute and obviously with the government's help you know we can actually take this into to a very very big level and you know, so because you know this industry right now is you know new people are not learning this art and you know, if we can actually manage to put together people this could be something that you know we can bring in a lot more people to learn this craft and you know, take it forward and it could be like in the longer run something that pakistan should really look at and it's a, it's a craft that you know that needs a lot of assistance and it needs a direction and it needs to come under something which is more like a, a proper body and you know, it could be taken forward
The way to approach all uh, the big brands for manufacturing as well as you know working for them as buying agents as well could be like a, a creating a product which is you know something that is identified for a particular brand and then you need to approach them either through marketing and either through exhibitions and you know and through how the world is and through their agents you know their, their buying offices and stuff which is how the usual business of fashion usually works and you know in order for us to really you know attract better brands and you know a higher price then you know we need to create a product also which is going to be something that they are going to be able to attract and also at the same time you know something that is not uh, many people would be able to do it because it's extremely important that you know we really do invest ourselves into a product which is a little bigger and a little better than just the basic because sadly pakistan is very much you know involved still in the whole basic sector and you know the only way is for us to really take that chance slowly slowly and over years i think we will be able to you know create a product which is right now being brought you know produced in turkey or spain or you know in some parts of the middle east as well as you know many other countries so i mean for in order for us to do that i mean you know it, it's it's a long run but these are the things that we really need to focus on so if you want to become an exporter and you already have you know obviously you need a bank account then you need to be registered with the chamber of commerce and industry you also have to be registered with the fpr you need to get the import license you need to be registered for the sales tax the aapki registration hoti hai and it could be in both ways if you are a manufacturer or if you are trading so and there are you know certain other factors that are required obviously you know your bank needs to also know that you know you are into exports and all of that so you know these are some of the bodies and association that you will need to be uh, <laughs> registered with so before that you can become an exporter in pakistan it's in where pakistan very recently have actually moved in uh, places up when it comes to the ease of business so these are things that can be registered very fast and with very very efficiently and almost pretty much online now so if anybody wants to you know register themselves into business it's become very very easy and you know If you're watching this virtual workshop, please click on the link below, fill in your details, and you will get a certificate of attendance from TDAP. Thank you. The government is really encouraging entrepreneurship, and you know, it's also encouraging you know investors. So it's 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 become a little a lot easier for you to really you know register yourself into exports and you know become a business entity. So I think it's a great time in general, you know, when it comes to a lot of possible you know. government policies and possibilities into getting it in terms of getting a business registered so yeah it's very easy really and it's just really about what you, you know if you have a clear clarity and you know it's very easy to register right now